I'm running five minutes behind and I still got to get gas and it's a three hour drive to this first shoot. Got my receipt. What is up, everybody? I've got two commercial shoots that are three hours from home and a basketball game to cover that's two and a half hours from here, which means I have to multitask today because today's three minute tip is on shooting basketball and compositions for the dribble drive. So let's cue the intro. There's going to be two types of dribble drive shots we want to get. One is the isolation shot. With the isolation shot, you're trying to catch the ball handler coming down the court by himself. And then you're going to either frame him from the waist up or a full body shot in a portrait type photo. key thing to note on the isolation shot and any of the dribble drive shot is the ball handler has to show control of the ball. The best way to do that is make sure that ball is on the ball handler's hands. Even though basketball is a vertical game, majority of today's media is not in a portrait, it's in a landscape format. Think about how your Facebook pages and Facebook covers look, your newspaper galleries, YouTube, everything is in a landscape mode. So that's the way you want to try to shoot the majority of your photos. Now when you have the ball controller closely guarded or engaged body to body with a defender, don't worry about trying to get the whole shot. Prop tight, feel the frame, show the emotion and the strength in the players, show the intensity of the players. It's perfectly okay to crop tight. I'll discuss settings in another episode but it is important to note that I'm using single point focus because when you're trying to shoot the ball handler through a crowd, you've got to be able to thread that focus point through there so that you're not throwing your focus on the defense rather than the ball handler. <laughs> 